Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are and no matter the time, it's devotion time with Miss T. In today's devotion time, we continue with our daily bread for kids and our topic today is eat your vegetables. <laughs> A number of people would not like this topic, please <laughs> give me a chance. <laughs> Our Bible reading is from Daniel chapter 1, verse 12 and 13, and it says, He said, Please give us this test for 10 days. Don't give us anything but vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then after 10 days, compare us with the other young men who eat the king's food. See for yourself who looks healthier, and then decide how you want to treat us, your servants. I know a good number of people who do not fancy vegetables, and the thought of eating only vegetables and water <laughs> would be a big problem. So let's find out what this story is about. When they were only teenagers, Daniel and his friends were captured and taken to Babylon. Because they were smart and strong and hardworking, they were chosen to live in the king's palace. Daniel and his friends were in a strange new place. They read new books and learned a new language. The king wanted them to eat his fancy food and drink his wine. But Daniel didn't want to do that. The Israelites had special instructions about what they were supposed to eat. The food from the king's palace was not made in the right way. Daniel knew if he ate the king's food, he would be disobeying God. So Daniel came up with a plan. He asked the king's guard to give him and his friends only fruits and vegetables. The king's guard was afraid at first. He thought Daniel and his friends would become sick and weak if they didn't eat the king's fancy food. If that happened, the guard thought he would be in trouble. But Daniel said, please give us this test for 10 days. After 10 days, compare us with the other young men who eat the king's food. See for yourself who looks healthier and then decide how you want to treat us. The guard agreed. And at the end of 10 days, Daniel and his friends looked healthier than all the young men in the kingdom who had eaten the fancy food. Daniel and his friends kept eating the fruits and vegetables, and they became smarter and wiser than all the other servants in the kingdom. God loved Daniel and his friends. God took care of them, even while they were in a land far from home. God will do the same for you. No matter where you are, he loves you and you can trust him. Have you eaten your vegetables today? Daniel and his friends were Israelites and the Israelites had strict rules on the kind of things they were allowed to eat. And these, and these rules were set a long time ago when Moses gave the laws. The food that they were going to be served were foods that were already sacrificed to idols. And remember, the children of Israel were not allowed to worship idols. In fact, no one was allowed to worship idols. So Daniel and his friends would have been disobeying the laws if they ate the food that has been sacrificed to idols, and that's the food that was being served by the king. So they decided that they weren't going to do that. 
So they spoke to the guard who was in charge of their food and asked him, please, all we want is fruits and vegetables. And the guard was scared. But for 10 days, the test proved that trusting God by not eating the food that he did not want them to eat was better. Daniel and his friends looked healthier than the other people who were eating all the fancy food that was spread before them. And from then on, the guard continued to give them fruits and vegetables. The truth is, fruits and vegetables are really good for us. For us to be strong and healthy and smart, we need to eat our vegetables and our fruits and drink lots and lots of water. I believe that God was also trying to pass this message to the people in that time, that there are good things he has given us to eat. Not the fast foods and the McDonald's and the KFCs. I know some people do not like what I'm saying right now. Those things are yummy. Don't get me wrong. And if you have them once in a while, that's okay. But we need to remember that we have to take care of the body that God has given us. And how do we take care of this body? By eating the healthy stuff. And by drinking loads of water, not Fanta and Coke and Sprite and the fizzies. I want to point out that Daniel trusted God. And it was because Daniel trusted God that everything turned out well. I want you to decide in your heart to do the right things when it comes to your schoolwork, when it comes to your exercises, when it comes to the foods that you eat. Make the decision to do what is right for the good of your body. And God will take care of you. <laughs> Let us pray. Dear God, Daniel and his friends did not want to eat the fancy food that was presented to them by the king. Because those foods were sacrificed to idols and you don't want anything to do with idols. Daniel and his friends chose to honor you by eating only fruits and vegetables, which is healthy, and they became stronger and wiser than everyone else. When we are tempted to eat the sugary foods and all the things that are bad for us and eat them every time, Lord, give us the discipline and the strength to eat what is good for our bodies so that we can be strong and wise and smart like Daniel and his friends. In Jesus' name, amen. Fun fact, fruits and vegetables provide many vitamins and minerals that growing kids need. You should eat at least five servings of fruits and veggies every day. Now, may I ask you, how many servings of fruits and veggies have you had today? If it's the morning, maybe you've had a fruit already. If it's lunchtime, maybe you've had three. If it's dinner time and you've had none, <gasps> eat your fruits and veggies because they are good for you. Now, say after me, I can trust God. Yes, trust God for strength to eat your fruits and vegetables. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion time. And I hope you loved it. And make sure you eat your vegetables today. Take care of yourselves by eating your vegetables. Bye.